drip. Let's go, go, go. It's another K Town beat. YouTube, 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 YouTube. It's your boy, Mr. Outliner. I'm back. I've been gone for a minute, but I resurrected. I'm back. Man, I've been having a whole lot going on. So, you know, it's been super busy around here, but, you know, with the new move or the shop and everything like that. So, it's kind of been putting me back on my videos, but I'm back now. I got a new one for y'all. So, this right here is a high, super high ball taper. And I did this for him. He was getting ready for prom. I put a one on top just in case you're wondering, but I did this for him for prom, get them ready, you know, have them fly, give them that drip, that sauce, I don't know what y'all call it, where it said that drip, that sauce, no cap, you know what I mean? But anyway, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, you know how we do it. Anyway, back to the haircut, I hit him with the one guard all the way around the head, we just clean it up, knock all the bulk off. Make sure everything is nice and neat, lay it down as much as possible. And once you get it to that point, then you can jump into the taper phase of it. And right here, I don't have a guard, I just smooth the sides down. See right here, I took the guard off and I'm smoothing the sides down. Now, slow it down. Now, we got my FX, Flash FX, Babies right here and the clipper doesn't matter as long as you have something to make it bob right and that's what we did right there we made it bob right here i'm using my seniors they're adjustable i use them open to close i use it to make a second guideline i smooth it out now i messed up right here if you look at the top part of it it's it's a little too light so i had to bring the taper up some that's why it's called a super high taper because i had to bring it up some now professionals do make mistakes but you got to be able to fix it right you got to be able to make it look good and that's what we did so I, I still had to find a way to clean it up and make everything blend in so i wasn't able to use my normal techniques of two steps you know like i normally do now i just showed you where it's like that so i took the one guard i put the one guard back on there and i'm working the corner of the blade because i want the bulk to go away i want to smooth it out i want it to look good now if you use the corner of the blade, it's gonna help you not make more mistakes or any mistakes, you know, because it's a feathering technique. It's like you just taking little bits and pieces out. It, when you use the whole blade, you take everything away, you know, everything it touched. So when you're using the corner, you just really concentrating on, you know, small areas and you can pick it out and you can see the transformation as it goes. Now, once you do that, you take the one guard off and you come back, open the clothes. You just want to smooth everything out. You want everything to blend well. So don't, so let's, let's recap this. I got a one on top. I came back. I balled it out, made my first guideline with some trimmers. I came back, open blade with no guard to smooth everything out. And now I'm just working that guideline away. And remember, sometimes when what you make the first guy line with, you have to use that to take out the line that you started with. And I like to use these singers right here that I have, they corded, but I like to use them because they zero gap really well. Some of the other clippers we have don't zero gap that well, like the Babeless uh, Rose Gold, the clipper. You know, not the trimmer, the clipper, it doesn't, it doesn't zero gap well. So, I kind of... I like them, but I'm, I'm in between. So, on to the next thing. We're getting ready to do the edge up. So, you see that? I still have a little line right there. So, for me, I want to tap that out. I want to clean it. I want to make it look good. See that? I'm using the corner. I bet You see how I was holding it? I was barely holding it. You want the clipper to do all the work. It's like a lawnmower. You just want it to cut all the grass. You don't want to have to do so much manual pushing and things like that. It's going to push. It's going to work itself. And on the edge of you just want to tap and pull away, tap, pull away. See that? I'm gonna tap and pull away, tap, pull away. That's what I do. And normally I don't start my my uh, lineups like this. I normally go from middle to to left or right or whatever and connect it. I'm just showing you something different because 
I wanted you to see the difference of w once I put the edge up on them, even though the taper is very high, once I put the edge up on them, it, it looks like nothing ever happened, right? And you see, I'm just showing you other methods of how to do edge ups also. So you see that? I didn't push this line up back. Everything is where it's supposed to be. You see it? Boom. It's a little bulk back here on the back side. So we're going to clean that up too. And then we're going to get ready to go to the, to the other side. Now, on this side, other side, we do the same thing. We scrape it down because I'm manipulating the angle of the blade. I want to smooth it out. I don't want to push it flat because it'll take too much hair off. You just want to graze it, basically. That's what I call it, grazing. So you graze it, make it smooth because you want the hair to lay down where you can see it. Use the same thing that you use on the other side, trimmer, make it bald, make your first guideline. It looks good. See that? Clean it up. You want it as bald as possible, close as possible. You can also use the electric uh, razor here and, and clean it up even more. Sometimes I don't like to use it because some everybody's uh, can't use a razor, even though it's an electric razor. So I don't like to use it a lot. I, so I try to avoid it if I can. If they ask for it, it's cool. If not, I just use my trimmer. And the other thing on this side, I got my uh, guard off. I got it open. This time, I'm using the rose gold clipper, I just kind of just pick up whatever clipper I see in right there. So I have a, a assortment of clippers. So, but they all I know how to use them all. So anyway, I manipulate the blade. I was grazing it. Now I'm cleaning up that guideline. I'm trying to make it lighter to match the other side because I went too high on the other side. So now I have to make this side match in order to give him a good blend because he going to prom. Can't have him out here looking weak. You know what I mean? Got him out here looking right. And I'm still using the corner of the blade if you look at it. And I'm barely, if you look at how I'm holding it, look how I'm holding it. I, I don't have a, a tight grip on him. I just, I'm letting the clipper actually do everything. And that's the uh, results you want. You want the clipper to do everything, right? And you want to continuously brush down, comb down, Whatever, you, whatever you're whatever using. Sometimes I like to use the brush because the hair sticks to the head. So that's what we're doing right here. I'm, I'm brushing. You always want to use both hands when you're cutting hair. So now I'm cleaning it up. I'm, I'm still going at an angle. I'm flicking, flickering, feathering. I don't know what, what you call it, wherever it's at, but you just want to use the corner and work it out slowly. There's no rush. But the more you do it, the faster you'll get, you'll be able to see the technique. Now look at that. You're getting rid of the line. And like I told you on the other side, the line might not come all the way out. You have to use the same thing that you put it in with to take it out. See that? Boom, we're cleaning. Now, we're doing more grazing just to make sure everything is, is not too bulky. Make sure it's nice and flat for us when we get ready to do the tr the lineup and we still want to fade away fade away fade away see that clean keep it going you see the book right behind his ear we're going to clean that off too so now on the edge up look we didn't push them back we're keeping it where it is we're just defining it you don't have to push them back to get a sharp edge up Tap it where it's at. Go over it a couple times if you have to. Now, you see I got rid of that the first line that we made. Now, look at this edge up. This is what I want you to focus on. If you look, you see how his edge up is? I'm going to zoom in for you. You see how his edge up is? It's, it's light in certain spots. So, I don't want to push it back. It's, it might not be even. I just did it before I looked at it. I'm doing this to show you all. How, how the edge up really is before I hit it with enhancements. And here's the close up. Now I come back, I, tr I try to get it as straight as possible before I do the enhancements because I want the natural line. And you see that I'm looking at it, I'm making sure I can see it, making sure you can see it.
Now, on to the part we want to get the bulk off that I was telling you about right behind his ear. You see, it's kind of bulky from the ways and it's just overall thickness right there. We want it to be blended smoothly. So, I'm going to give you the close-up. I'm using the corner of the blade. I don't know if you can see it all the way, but you see what I'm doing right there? I'm using only the corner, right? You only want to use the corner because you don't want to take a lot off right here. Now, I'm using the one. I, I had the one and a half on at first. Now, I'm using the one. So I'm cleaning them up. I'm using the corner of the blade until I get the bulk out that I want to remove. And then I go to the back part after that. In the back part, it's, it's basically the same thing that you did to the sides. You want to bring it up high though. So you want to bring it up high to match the sides really well. It's going to be very light on the sides, but you just want to make sure you get the bulk off, make sure everything blends. You know, you go open the clothes as always until you get everything smooth like you want it. Where, remember, wherever the bulk is, make sure you use the corner of the blade to get it out. Work it, work diligently around the head, right? So, and then you want to clean up that bottom line and then you'll be ready to finish off the edge up with the enhancements. Now you want to get the edge of going all the way around the head. The back part, you want to start with the back and just make sure you get it right. Clean up his neck real well. And you don't want to push it in too far. You just want to make sure you stay as wide as you can on the neck. And you want to work it around the ear. Keep it kind of low. Work it. You see that? Taper came out good. You want to use the edge of your trimmers to get it right. Now, on the edge of the part, this is the master airbrush tool I use right here. So what you want to do is you want to spread the area that's light. You don't want to make a completely new edge up. That's what the purpose of doing the edge up first is so you can see where the, the enhancement needs to go. So right here, I'm hitting it, I'm spraying. You make good, you know, good uh, spray patterns. You want to just move it back and forth right and here i'm just spraying it a little bit you don't need a whole lot so you see it does your you see i didn't push it back you see where everything is right now i come back i tap it again because now i want to focus on getting it sharp and i fo i want to focus on getting it straight so that's what we're doing right here i did a close-up so you can kind of see what i'm doing now right here i'm using the corner just like I use on everything else, you just use the corners. It's like the, the clipper, the trimmer, it's like a, a pencil. So this is your artwork. That's why it's, so, it's art because you're using the edge like a pencil. Now you see the edge up, it's coming, coming through. Doing that, turn them so you can see it. Boom. See how that look? Now we're gonna use hair fibers next. We hit them with the holding spray. I use froze. You ain't never had that before. You see his eyes blink, 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 blink. That's how it go, because it's a little it's a little spicy, man. You know what I'm saying? You want the crispy, you want that crispy. It gotta be a little spicy. Now I have an optimizer here and it helps spray well. So look at how it disperses the, the fiber. You see it makes an even spray. And you know you don't need a lot. So you see that? The edge of came out fire. And we're gonna tap it again just to make sure everything good. You wanna wipe this the excess build up off and then you want to hit it with the holding spray once again and after you hit them with that like i said you wipe the excess build up off and then you want to come back with your trimmer and hit it again just to make sure it's super crisp everything is nice no hair hanging over see it's edge up he prone ready man we got that boy ready so then after this you want to set them up you might want to get you whatever kind of uh cream wave cream you have curling cream you have I use different ones. I just try different things to see how it works. Right now, I'm using the Cantu. So it's called uh, Cantu Curling Cream. And I'll show you my method right here in a second on how I do it. So uh, I'm going to wet the hair first. And then I'm going to take the curling cream. And I'm going to rub it into his hair until it, until it, it evaporates into his hair. Right? Because the, we want the moisture to build up in his hair. And don't forget to trim the little wild hairs just to make sure the haircut looks good. You want to make sure you trim it, right? Trim it. Take your trimmers and trim it. 
and everything look good. But hey, look, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. You know how we do it. And I'll be dropping videos more often now. I'm back on schedule. I'm back. Check me out. Until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. I'm out. It's another K-Town beat.